Hello IGN, my name is Jose Otero, I'm here with Joe Scrubbles, and he just got back from seeing Scalebound, which is a game I'm very interested in. So tell me what you saw. Okay, so we've seen bits and pieces of Scalebound for a couple of years now. We've seen that it's an RPG with action elements, we've seen that it involves uh, an AI dragon walking around. This year, Hideki Kamiya came to the show with the intention of just showing off the dragon. Okay, okay, this is big. And it turns out there's way more to it. Mm -hmm. So for a start, we've seen multiple types of dragons in the game. Um, and we didn't know what that was about. Mm -hmm. So there's what they're calling a dragon DNA system. Okay. And throughout the game, you can morph your dragon into three forms. There's got the it, it, it. Uh, Rex form, which is the one we've seen most prominently. There's the, I believe it's called the Brute form, which is the one with tiny little wings. It looks more sort of like a bull. Okay, okay, And then got there's it. a Wyvern form, which is, it's got no arms, but it's really good at flying. Okay, got it, got it. And you can morph anywhere between those three forms. So you can ha you can blend between them. So you can have like a Brute with, or like a Rex with more sort of brutish like melee stuff. Or okay. you can have a Rex that's better at flying. And he showed this video of it basically scaling one dragon through this whole uh, like, continuum of dragon DNA. Got it, got it, got it. And okay. so it turns out, essentially, it's catering to your playstyle. If you prefer a dragon that's flying around above you, distracting people, you go for the Wyvern form. If you want a dragon that's in the thick of combat while you're supporting from behind, it's you can pick the brute form, which is really interesting because that adds a completely different layer to the combat than yeah. we saw before. Especially when you consider that like Tuban the dragon is very much your co-op partner, but yep. he's driven by AI. You don't really tell him what to do. Like he kind of does his own thing. Well, that's the thing. So now they've introduced direct control of the dragon. Interesting. So okay. what happens now is essentially you hold, I believe it's L2, and you see it goes into first person, mm -hmm. and you see Drew. Drew's right. fist, and it starts a dragon link. And that essentially sets up a fixed camera, and within that fixed camera, you can move the dragon around. Oh, wow. And so you take control. It has no, as far as I can tell, there's no like mana cost to this. Got it, it's got just it. Drew becomes vulnerable whilst he's in that, in that state. Okay, he stands he's still. He's standing still, exactly. essentially. Okay, and the dragon's moves are mapped to be similar to Drew's. So if yeah. Drew's got a stinger move, like the Devil May oh, Cry, wow. okay, the dragon okay, does okay. a dash move. Nice, um, nice. He's got like a launching uppercut, like a backflip kick yeah. that's incredible. Um, and the idea is essentially that you are, the dragon can kind of perform these stun moves mm -hmm. and then Drew runs in and takes out the weak spots when they're stunned. Okay. So what I originally thought this game was, was essentially you're, you as the human are playing sort of a support to the dragon, but actually it's way more in depth. And they showed like a pro level player taking on like a huge monster. Got it. And they're just flicking constantly between the two. And wow. suddenly you just go, oh, this is a Kamiya action game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it might have all these RPG elements. You're putting armor on the dragons, you're morphing yeah, it, yeah. you're getting all these playstyle strategies, but that's the action element. And finally, it's clicked. Like, okay. I, it was a completely different game for me before I saw this. Yeah, before yeah. I saw this presentation, it looks crazy. Yeah, when you consider like having dragon armor and having just direct control of this dragon, and how they're trying to balance that out by taking away Drew from the equation yeah. the minute you go for that, that sounds really smart. And if anything, Kamiya has just been very good at that with a lot of his games. Yeah. So we'll be able to see when this game finally comes out. That's coming exactly. up, though. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's it's closer and closer. It it's looking more and more polished every time I see it. I'm I'm not sure quite what's why they're kind of keeping this behind, like yeah. away from people yeah, at the yeah, moment. Yeah. Maybe it's just because the game as a structured thing isn't quite there, but That's certainly right. all those mechanics and like that platinum action stuff that's been a bit missing before now really looks like it's coming into its own now, which is super exciting. Nice. Well, you heard it here. Scalebound, pretty cool. For more on Scalebound, Xbox One, you name it, keep it right here at IGN.